kind of like this. I got a little something that you guys have been wanting me to build. So we're gonna build it. You guys have been asking for this keyboard for so long now. So Parallel sent me over one. Ooh, that is looking, oh dude. That's looking so sharp though. I'm considering, considering what to put in here, but I have not yet thought of it. That is clean. We'll build this soon. Check this out though. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this though? Do you guys like this? Isn't this cool? Does this ring any bells? Parallel actually sent this to me too. It's called the Companion. It's, it, dude, it's literally so cute. I thought this was awesome. Yeah, dude, it's, it's nice looking. Like it is a pretty hot looking clock. I should have put this back into the bag. It's okay. All right, we got our PCB, we got some screws, we have some... You know, I actually don't know what, the, what these are. These look like gaskets of some sort. Uh, we got some Allen keys, and then we have the keyboards. This is the bulwark. The same person who did... I don't know if you guys remember. Remember, remember the keyboard, I won't say it by name. Remember that keyboard that was like... It had the big top piece, almost looked like good. French inspired. Actually, not too bad looking. Nice little TKL. Uh, pop them bubbles. All right, I will for you. There you go. Give you guys some bubble popping action. <laughs> this is pretty cool, dude. I gotta admit, this is different. This is actually pretty cool. I got, I got to respect something that's a little daring, that's a little different than the norm. You know, I have to respect God that. Damn, dude. Does this have some under, it does have underglow as well. Um, I don't know if we got all the PCBs in, because I know there's a hot swap ANSI, hot swap ISO. I think we just got solderable PCBs, yeah. But there is hot swap ANSI, hot swap ISO. Uh, but this is actually, pretty, it's a pretty neat project. Uh, I don't know if you remember Garner's last project. I believe it was called that. Was it called The Haven, I believe it was called? I can't remember exactly what it was called, but but this uses like an ISO top mount, kind of like what we see in the mode Sonnet. So basically just a fancy word for it's burger mounted. Um, frosted polycarbonate bottom, pretty cool. Lots of different colors this thing comes. Oh, it has a beautiful orange. Damn, I wish we had to see the orange in person. There's also gonna be a uh, wrist rest with this too. And then there's gonna be 80 units across all, all regions as well. V very unique keyboard since his first Haven. I'm hoping one of his designs take off. I think, it, dude, I really like this one here. It doesn't, fe this doesn't feel like cheap at all too, which is kind of nice. This feels like very premium because it is a different piece of, poly we'll take out this insert here in the middle here so you can better see everything. Let's unscrew it. Pretty cool though, I kind of like it. I kind of like this, the shield design. If you see the shield has two keyboards in it. I believe it said a polycarbonate, did it not? Let me double check for you guys. Um, frosted polycarbonate bottom. So we'll see, we'll see exactly what this is. Okay, okay. Are the obscures the linear, the tactiles? We're using the linear ones today. Okay, this has like a piece of cellophane on it. I'm not gonna remove it yet but I wanna see the quality of this. I know this is a prototype, but I'm still kinda of curious to see if this will get cleaned up a bit. So oddly enough, I can see some like damage on this, but I'm uh, again, I'm gonna chalk this up to it is a prototype and that's why there's like actual pieces of the polycarbonate missing there. The frosted polycarbonate bottom piece has been coated with the scratch resistant finish to pull, um, for the polycarbonate. So I don't, again, I don't know if this is indicative of the final build. Other than that, it's like not that bad. I do see some like finger, like lots of oils and fingerprints on it. Like there's a big oil slick over here. It looks like maybe when someone was building it, 
So again, I am not positive on that. But yeah, let's just, uh, last little note about this. Again, there is some polycarp or some polycarp damage on this. But again, I'm gonna chalk that up to this being a prototype. Uh, and there is like a big oil slick down the middle here. But the finish is not that bad. Like it does have a frosted look on the inside. And then it has more of a glossy kind of look on the outside, which is actually pretty clean. It's a little wavy, but not something you'd look, not something you'd notice once the keyboard's like fully assembled and all that. Uh, I have no interest in making the things I love into sustainable life skills. I have found my passions leave me uh, when I have to rely on them for putting food on the table. Yeah, it's a very delicate, very delicate way to, or world to navigate when you start making passions your job. Luckily, I've been doing it extremely, extremely gracefully. Let's grab this and let's grab our little tabs over here. I need to learn how to solder before Jaguar fulfills. Soldering is very, very easy. Trust me. It's a little daunting at first, for sure. I understand that but it is so, so easy. I need to poke these little holes out because they didn't come pre-poked out. Is this an adhesive? Oh, it is an adhesive. Should I use it, the adhesive part of it? I almost feel like we don't need to and that it would be kind of annoying to use the adhesive. Wait, those keycaps we're using today, Wob? The keycaps we are using today is Ski Data. Ski data, however you want to pronounce the keycap sets. All right, this goes in here. So the only thing I would possibly change about this entire keyboard right now, I am noticing that there is a mounting point right here. So maybe potentially we can unscrew this one here and see how that feels. I usually do not like mounting points underneath the spacebar area, but who knows? Typically what I like is if they had moved this mounting point here and maybe just added the other one here. So just kind of space this out, but we'll see how this ends up feeling. We'll try with the um, silicone in the bottom as well. Super cool bottom of the case though, I have to admit. I really, I really enjoy the different aesthetic here. The little shield, even the way the feet are, like it's nice. Cable channel seems quite nice on this too. This, piece of plastic seems a bit, or the piece of silicone seems a bit big for this. So we'll see. Yeah, it's neutral, it's neutral. I think that's the best way to put it. I think the only thing I would probably ask for in this case, yeah, the silicone's making it a bit tough. I think the silicone needs to be reworked shape-wise, but some sort of, tape or something to use on with the uh what's it called daughter the daughter board the, the cable here it doesn't want to seem to close nice got gmk pastiri for my pink tomo i'm this close to ordering myself a tomo i kind of like that one that we built last time so i'm, I'm considering getting myself a tomo if I can give again one suggestion, there needs to be a good solid way of better closing this case. I think the silicone is what's causing it to be a little awkward. Just a little tiny bit. I can't really do much about the cable though. I don't know what you could do about the cable because you need, like the cable's pretty much necessary, I guess. Yeah, I think the screw is causing it to short somewhere. It goes off and on like really quick. It's shorting, so that's what's happening. I just don't know what the fuck it's shorting on. It's called prototype for a reason, yeah. It's this. Which I don't understand how that's shorting on that though. Um, uh, Spooky called the exorcist. Spooky indeed, dude. The only thing I can think of is right here where the daughter board's going into. So we'll put a bit of tape right there and see if that's what's causing it to short. 
Let's make sure, let's do every step of the way here. Turns on here, okay, that turned on. Let's see, does this work? No. Okay, it's something to do with these two screws. Once you close this down all the way and the tape's not helping it either. I couldn't tell you what it is, guys. I have no idea why it's stopping work the moment it's screwed down all the way. It's just shorting something at the moment. Uh, obsessed with your vids at the moment, I'm just gotten to the keyboard scene. That means a damn lot. I really do appreciate you, dude. I hope that whatever your endeavors in the keyboards are ends up going awesome. RIP, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. One last thing. I know this also looks really bad, but I'm trying to see what the issue is. I'm curious myself. And then we'll do a typing test and put the keycaps on. It looks like it's just shorting somewhere on, it doesn't look like it's the corners. It looks like it's the, it's this. Nope, that didn't work either. Yeah, I don't know why it's shorting the moment we screw it in the back. Literally no clue, guys. Uh, honestly, it's okay. Let's just type it, type with it anyways. I really don't know what's causing the short. It does look pretty good from the side. Here, let me show you guys this. Oh, it actually shows up in the front too. That's kind of cool. Has some of that underglow happening from the front. Again, ignore the gap over here. Kind of a nice side profile. The traces are being bent too much. Kind of a nice side profile. Okay, it's still working. Let's put the keycaps on now. Before we do the typing test, guys, I'm gonna screw it all together properly so we get a better idea of what this actually sounds like. Yeah, dude. Keep this on. Chozo, I knew you'd like this, bro. I actually knew you would like this. You always like when we bust out ski data. That's a nice sound profile with the silicone. Hmm. It's actually a nice looking board. All right, so these are with the mode obscure switches with the bottom silicone in. I mean, here's my thoughts on this, right? I think, I honestly think this sounds pretty unique. When's the last time we built something that sounds like this? I kinda like this, man. Bro, the mods all fucking slap. This is nice. I'm actually really surprised by this. Okay, I'm, we're gonna try taking out the uh, silicone now, see if that changes things. Arrow keys? Here, I'll show you guys the arrow keys. Let's see arrows. They sound good, the whole board sounds super uniform. Goodbye piece of silicone. Ah, yeah, it works. Maybe it is the piece of silicone. Well, I guess we learned something. I guess we learned something. Oh, wow, this is a totally different sounding keyboard now. Whoa. This is totally different. I mean, like, you could go either way, obviously. You put in the silicone, it uh, should hopefully be fixed by the time. 
I don't know actually. I like both ways. One millimeter thinner for the GB. Yeah, I think that would probably fix it. But how does this keyboard look in the dark? That's pretty nice. This is kind of a cool aesthetic. Sounds like Lego bricks. Oh, you can probably hear my, my uh, light cracking a little bit. No, no bleed, very nice, yeah. There is, I mean, I can still see the hotspots, obviously, but it's still pretty, it's decently diffused. Okay, okay, I don't mind it. I like the chin, the chin of the board, this little guy in the front here. Okay, okay. I like both ways, I like both sounds, man. It, feel, it feels a little higher than I'm used to, but it's not uncomfortable. Uh, pretty high and flat, 20.5, okay. And the final version's 19, okay. I have to admit, I do think with the silicone, might be my favorite. I'm, I'm thinking back on it now. But I do like with the silicone too, it kind of made this really like drummy type of sound. Anyways, really cool both ways. I think this this uh, this works this works in uh, both configs, I guess. But uh, I like it. It's nice, nice little nice little board. Pretty nice. I, I really do like the board. I think it's awesome. I do think there are a few things that need to be worked on. Uh, the quality of the bottom. Again, I know it's a prototype, but there is some finishing issues on that that I do think need to be improved on. Love you guys. Bye everybody. See you soon. Goodbye. I kind of like this.